So what we're going to talk about is the barely legal. Uh, this fly has become my go-to reactionary bite fly in multiple colors. I do it in like three different, four different colors. The original one was this. It's actually the original one's a single hook. It's called a smoke wagon. Then we articulated it, became the barely legal, this yellow and green. Uh, I, there's a bunch of colors. You can stack whatever you want. Three stacks of marabou. Get that out of the way. We're going to have one, two, three on the back hook. We're just going to duplicate it. This fly is really light, I, and you know, as far as I'm concerned, and, and things may change someday, but right now, marabou is my go-to material. I just, nothing swims like this stuff. We're gonna do the tips up. This is one of my favorite crayfish all around, general attractor. This thing is just money. It's got, it's kind of unique, and it's got floating popper heads in the back, so every time you slow down, it kind of kicks. But this thing gets real, gets really, really swimmy in the water. Uh, as a smallmouth fly, this is incredible. As a trout fly, it's even better. The back hook, and when I want to show you this because this is unique for how I did this one. It's designed, uh, this is supposed to be like the midsection of the, the minnow's tail, and then this other stuff's going to wrap around it, but it's kind of articulated in a unique way. We're going to do a Nancy P. This is the disco version. This is the, the bass version. Uh, this fly, is really underrated. It's my, as a food-based fly goes, the tan and the olive are my two favorites. This, my, my best day last year on the Madison was on this fly. My best day last year on the Mo was on this fly. As food-based flies go, this is without a doubt my favorite fly there is. But this is a fly that everybody, you don't do the rest of them, do this fly. I guarantee you this is, and I don't care if you have crayfish in your water. We don't have crayfish here. They eat it. They eat it a lot. The boogeyman's a hybrid. He's kind of like a butt monkey, zoo cougar, heifer groomer, sex dungeon. He's, he's just got a lot of stuff going on. The thing about the boogie that makes it so fishy is these double flanks. It makes it not only articulate left and right like this, but it's got this really wiggly hind end. His butt just goes when he's going through the water. So what I did here is I laid out five of the best flies I know. I wanted to show you an update on some new materials, new techniques. I've tried to show you flies that I know will change the way you fish. I know these flies are proven success stories. Every one of these, fish, or every one of these flies has caught some really good fish for me.